Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, spray foam roofs for existing roofs. Uh, kind of a little beginner's guide, a little intro to it. Um, this really spurred because my friends ask me what I do and I tell them I do something with spray foam roofing. They're like, I've never heard of spray foam roofing before. I never even imagined it would go onto an existing roof. And so it's kind of how it's all spurred. So I kind of have to tell them, you know, they're like, what is spray foam roofing? Um, so basically it's two materials that are heated and pumped from separate containers. They go through pipes that go onto a roof and there's a sprayer on there that sprays the mixture onto an existing roof. Um, the number one benefit is that it avoids the complete tear off. So in most cases, foam can go over your existing roof and you don't have to pay for the time and labor to rip everything off, pay to transport to a landfill and then put a new roofing system on. Foam can just go over what you already have. Um, usually gets applied one inch to one and a half inches thick. Um, two layers of coating go over top of the foam roof because um, UV rays will degrade the foam if left alone. And then granules are embedded into the second coat of coating over it. So it's not just spray foam on its own, it's really a spray foam roofing system with a couple of different materials on it. Um, you might be wondering, or if you're a building owner, why do people choose spray foam over traditional roofing systems? Uh, like I said, it can help avoid the complete tear off. Uh, spray foam has a great R value, has an R value of 6.5 per inch of thickness, which is higher than any other roofing installation out there. So you should expect to uh, see some energy savings with a foam roof. Um, spray foam is seamless. Um, seams on a roof, when the weather fluctuates, the seams on a roof, they expand and contract with the weather and all that stress is on the seams. So over time, those seams can pull, you know, pull other roofing systems apart and leave them exposed to water. Um, a spray foam roof, it's fully encapsulated. There are no seams, so it's one variable um, of leaking you won't have to worry about. But um, no roofing system out there is with it, was, has some problems with it. Uh, overspray is one issue. You know, foam is a liquid. Wind can take it away. If a contractor isn't careful with windscreens or spraying out of a booth, you know, overspray can happen and get onto nearby cars or buildings. Um, another thing is there's not a lot of contractors that do spray foam roofing in general and there's even fewer ones that do it and know what they're actually doing. Um, we've seen roofs that look like moon craters that have huge blisters on them and just some contractors don't know the science of foam. There's a lot of heating and mixing and ratios that you need to understand how it works or the, it won't work right. Um, so that's one you know, problem. Not a lot of people do it and know what they're doing. Um, there's also a limited time frame on installation, so it needs to be 50 degrees and rising to do foam the right way so it cures correctly. Can't be a lot of wind, it's got to be dry. Um, so there's just a lot of limited things and some issues that spray foam has that other traditional systems don't have to worry about. And then also there's, there's myths, rumors, misconceptions of foam. I kind of want to tackle a couple of them today. Uh, the first one is people think spray foam is just a temporary solution um, to get them to a new season where they can put a different roofing system on. Um, that's definitely not the case. Uh, we do 10 to 20 year warranties with spray foam. Um, and after those warranties are over, um, we clean the roof and add more coating on it. And we give a new 10 to 20 year warranty so they can last you know, 40 years, no problem at all. Um, another misconception is that people think you can't walk on it. Um, that's certainly not true either with the invention of granules on it. Um, definitely increases the strength of the roof. Um, but foam in general, I mean, hardens to a really thick material. It has 40 to 50 PSI of pressure that you can stand on it, which is similar to the uh, pegs your refrigerator is on. So definitely really thick. Um, so definitely you can walk on it. Um, that's really it for today. If you have any other questions, you know, please reach out or comment below. But if you want to learn about any of these uh, bullet points today, uh, just please click on the description below. Uh, you can click there and get to the blog post for more details. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.